Well, well, you've got guys. I'll give an example. Like you know, when I grew up, you know, I'm I'm 30, I'm 31, right? When I grew up, you know, I would always hear about Bruce Lee. But now I come to find out, you know, like during the 60s and the 70s, you know, some of the best martial artists in this country, you know, they were white, black, and Spanish, and they were winning. They were winning tournaments. They were winning in the Olympics. They were. You know they they were out there they were fighting. So why is it that we know we don't hear about these people? Why you know because it, it's important because it you know it will translate into you know better business for them. Recog uh, recognition is it's important, but it's like it's like they don't exist. Uh, well, mostly uh, is a uh, actor movie movie star. Yes. So he is recognized through movies, you know, not by the martial artists. Martial artists, uh, for example, uh, if, uh, I've, I've been asked about it many times, but I always tell them that I'm grossly an actor who used his uh, martial arts techniques for his movies and the TV series, you know, the Brooklyn Homehead uh, as a cater. Right. But, uh, compared to uh, Chuck Norris, Chuck Norris, Became an actor later on, but he was a martial artist. First, yes. Yeah, he, is, he was a champion, so there's no comparison between two. They never competed you know, on the same road. One competed by himself in the most of the movies, that's movie rule. Uh, and uh, uh, Chuck Norris competed the All American and Madison Square Garden, and, 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 and these are all those big names Koreans. He beat Koreans and he beat, uh, uh, you know. Americans and the Hispanics and the Latinos. I mean, so I mean, in this country, in this area, I'm talking about. Right. So, so, so I always tell them that the the Chuck Norris is a the fighter in martial arts, and the Bruce Lee was a good demonstrator you know, for for movies. But a lot of more people watch the movies than probably in the tournament. Sure, and, sure, that's what happened. Yeah, yeah. That's why you, uh, you, and many others talking about Bruce Lee. Martial artists, but uh, I, I as a professional martial uh, attack on the uh, master, uh, I never uh, took him as the same as uh, our, you know, like uh, uh, the, the martial artist master. No, he was a uh, he was a uh, good martial artist, but he used it for his uh, uh, for his for his professionalism, which is uh, which is acting, right. and it very successfully, and a lot of people like that. So that's why we can, you know, you see these old movie stars in other way, and that doesn't mean that they are all perfect individuals. You know, they got some problems here and there, but they become so popular and big name because they so many people watch them uh, through movies. Same thing with Bruce Lee. Mm. Uh, yeah. As a martial artist, we are not asked to do anything else but train our body and spirit. I I doubt Bruce Lee was involved in that as a movie actor or as a, uh, uh, you know, as an actor. Right. So there is a difference. You, you don't just say that he knows how to kick and jump and the spinning and break a lot of bricks, so therefore he's a martial artist. No, martial artist involves physically and mentally, spiritually, you know. So his spirit, uh, Bruce Lee, was a movie, as a movie star, not as a martial artist. Wow.